Hi guys, I've got some video which we are going to do for the you today and this is a slightly different set because I have used a different colors guys I have used brown, can you see it? It has some blink in it as well So I have done the thumbs just so you've got an idea We have sanitized the hands, we have peel back the cuticles, we have uh, applied the tips and now we are just going to apply an extra nail dehydrator on those nails just because during the um, application we have probably touched the nails and around the cuticles that's the area where uh, the nails are most prone for lifting so I'm just reapplying it and then universal air bond and then we can start doing those set there is a there is a video when I'm showing like how to do a sculpted uh, set there is a video how to apply the tips as well uh, so all sorts of videos on the channel if you didn't see them just check them out and we are going to use a dark nude gel because I feel like it goes really well with the brown color as well. So we are going to use the fiber gel and dark nude. And I actually have it on my nails as well. And I think like it has so amazing coverage that you can just use it really on its own. And we will do combination of the marbles and different things. So we've got some marble nail in here. So we are going to do a same marble nail on here. Or no, maybe pinky, just a plain one. No, let's do marble. Don't do any plain. We don't do any plain. We do just all fancy. And then this one is going to be marble as well. Okay, so those two nails are going to be marble. Then this nail is going to be like the thumb on the other hand, which is a French. And so does this nail. Now what I'm doing first is I'm applying a nice and thin layer of the product so I can get it really close to the cuticle and I can cap all the free edges inside. And do exactly the same on this one. So on this hand we will have the gem one here, and gem one there and then marble in here. Just so they all fancy. You are Amber. No, you are What's your name? Alex. Alex, sorry. <laughs> I think I just why I had the lady call it this way. So I've got Alex and uh, we actually laughed because when she came in, she said she wants some brown nails. And I thought like, okay, it's a time to record it. And then when we had the conversation, uh, she says this is a change for her. Change? Because what's your, usually you get? Like pinks. And pinks and purples. purples. Like, yeah, all my clients get pinks and purples. So, um, so yeah, that was a, a big change. Now on this two nails, we are going to do just a normal, uh, normal nail. So nice and thin layer, and then we are going to sculpt the apex straight away. Because there is a French going on in there. Marble French. Okay, so the structure is there. Change. Same, the French nail is going to be here. And then the structure. You can see it, I'm dragging the product down the way, like one side, other side, till I reach the free edge, cut it off, and then touch up on the sides. If you don't have a time to touch up on the sides, cure it first and then do it once the nail is cured. Change. So it's depending how quick your application is. Then the French is going to be here as well. Now, um, the gels which are really highly pigmented and that's the gel which is highly pigmented they tend to don't have a heat spike just because light cures them slower uh, so i would suggest you kind of give it an extra cure uh, always when you're using uh, cover gels give an extra cure so normally i would cure the fiber gels 60 seconds and this one i would cure um, 90 seconds 
was 30 seconds extra. Touch up the sides, change. It's It looks absolutely beautiful on its own, to be honest, like uh, this color, absolutely beautiful. So smaller apex because we are working on the pinky one side other side that's maybe a bit too small change now the marbles are going to go here so for the marble just because the client might come back for a rebalance and I don't want to do it um, much of the filing and I want to keep those kind of uh, nudie base and if I want to get rid of the color I'm bu building extremely small apex guys you can see it it's almost no apex but there is apex so I don't have to file it right down to the natural nail I will have a little bit of those gel in here to protect the nail bed okay that's the way I'm always doing like if I encapsulate something really deeply um, then I always put some extra product in there. Change. So same on this one. Nice and thin layer. So this way I don't have to worry like if, if the lady comes in and says like I want, I don't know, pink or, or French. I can just file it right down to this place. But at the same time I'm not going to have too much filing as well. Which is very handy. So I never encapsulate too deep. That's why I don't like the pink and white style nails which are filed like uh, when you do pink and then you file away your French because you have to get it right down to the end to change if the person wants to change the design. Okay, time for mar marble. So I will just move that away. The back of the foil. I actually really love it. Like I keep it. Normally we just bin it. So I keep it and then I can use it. Now I've got some old collection of the Neil Perfect. Uh, is this continue? This continue. And that's daily motion 117 color. So I'm just picking up a couple dots of this color. And then I've got some creamy color here as well. So I'm just picking up a couple dots of that and another dots of the brownie one and we are going to start marbling it also i'm going to need some foil design gel for a very thin thin black lines and we are going to use some gold foil here as well so we've got more work when we're doing um those kind of um encapsulated things at the beginning but then later on you don't have to apply the gel polish so the time wise it's kind of evens out uh, I have just put the scoop of the scoop of the black in there just like a very fine line sorry I just tried to that's it and then I'm going to tear a couple gold pieces not too big like we don't want to overdo it just a little bit and we can start the fun. So I'm just picking up some marble. You can kind of give it a couple squiggles first and then pick it. Don't go too close to the cuticle because uh, you will just flood them. And basically you're just touching up and because we have used this color uh, perfect change because we have used this uh, dark nude color it's kind of matching perfectly to the marble so even if you don't go too close to the cuticle you can still get a really uh, fantastic results and you are not risking um, runny gel polish over the inhibition layer of the gel which makes the things more difficult change trying to do different kind of patterns so sometimes I will go more to the side get rid of the air bubble
then I've got all sort of marbly look change and the next one keep cleaning your brush like if you've got too much I've got too much product now on my brush uh, so it's not doing a nicer as nice my marble so just clean it so you can get those colors through it otherwise the gel polish blends too much on your brush and then you cannot get it nice results change okay now it's a time to use a tiny bit of the black mix with this darker color just so you can create a really nice and uh, thin lines and then some pieces of the uh, of the foil so i'm just going to stick in some foil in there really random And then using the black we are going to add some detail again don't do it too strong only some places like somewhere there and there not too much Just a couple cracks. Same on this one. And then another crack. Hi. Hi. I'm good, good. I do. I will be with you two seconds, hon. And then one more crack in here. So once you're happy with the cracks, give them a cook. Okay, that's some cooking. So we are going to do exactly the same on this one. And again, when you're sticking in the foil, like I'm trying to don't uh, cover the nicest places of the marble. So like um, do it more on the places which are plain. I would say like I've got plain place here and plain place there. So that's the best places for a foil in my nail. And then a bit of black. Same on this one. Great change. Okay, so now we have to encapsulate this look and I'm using the clear, clear one, crystal one gel. And this is my encapsulate uh, glitter uh, glitter in there and everything gel for encapsulation so I'm always keeping two pots one if I need it like really nice clear and the one which has all bits and pieces in there so nice and thin layer and now I'm finishing building my apex again not too high because we have already done some part of the apex so just to really encapsulate the marble so we don't overfile through it okay same on this one so cut the free edge go really nice and thin and then pick up the scoop to add into your apex and encapsulate the marble it 
we could do the marble straight away into the first layers but like saving that's what maybe even save us some time but uh, in general you will have much more filing later on when the clients comes back change for the rebalance And you could also do it on the top with the gel polish but because when we're applying the marble we're kind of working quite thick with the gel polish I find that this is pretty nice way of doing it change okay and then the last one so with the French we will work a little bit different and I will show you that once we've shaped those nails And you can see the consistency is so much different of the clear. Uh, it's kind of really stringy, runny gel. Uh, I quite like for finishing uh, because it can smooth out the surface quite a lot. Change. So final check just before. Like I will be okay in here. I could maybe add a drop more on this one. Just at the apex area. Not at the French, not at the free edge, because we are going to do quite a lot in there. So press your brush harder. But they are short nail beds, so I need plenty of product on the apex. And this one will be all good. Change. Check this hand as well. That will be all good. I could add a drop more on this one. Again, I didn't want to make them too thick, because we still have to do this French. And then the crystal, so you don't want too, too much of the thickness, but let's add a drop more. And this one will be fine. So I'm just waiting two more, two, three, make it five, <laughs> two, three, five. <laughs> In the meantime, I can close my uh, products and I can put the foil on the sides. So we don't need it anymore, but I'm still going to need this piece of for marble for the French part. Uh, but first of all, we need to file those uh, nails. So good change. So clean them. And now is the time for shaping. Automatically, my hand goes there. <laughs> uh, so I like to use the... You can, uh, guys, I'm getting it really expensive when we are not going to stock this tape, uh, but you can get it off from eBay as a finger finger tape. Uh, it's a great stuff, like, um, to protect your fingers from filing. So we are going to shape those nails, one side, other side. And on the marble ones, they, they just finished. We just have to really put the top coat and you can see how much shape has changed after doing this movement blend around the cuticle area and then smooth out and because we have put the clear gel we don't have to worry that we are going to overfile it Thin out the free edge a little bit. I don't like when the free edge is too big. You want all your product to be there to hold extensions on there, okay? Don't put too much product on the free edge because that's causing lifting. Like lots of lifting might happen then. And now we are going to shape this new. Thank you. 
So we have done most of our shaping with the product application. And you can see how strongly I'm pulling client new folds. So this way I can file a little bit faster without of risking of any cuts. And this one. So just exactly the same. When you're filing a coffin shape, make sure you don't rent off the free edge. It doesn't look nice when it's too rounded. So those are the cycles, they really need to go like sharp. smooth this one thank you bye and the pinky that's already looks nice like so it's really I don't know just to perfect the shape with the file and uh, sometimes it may happen that you will make a beautiful nail which actually does doesn't almost need the filing and sometimes you will just have to file more so I think it's depending I don't know of the day depending on temperatures or your mood or how you feel like I've got sometimes better and worse days as well um, so yeah But they turn out really, really nice, especially for such a short nail beds. Uh, like I think they pretty nice nails. And when I'm doing with the buffer, don't like go like this, because that's when you've got straight away the cut. So I'm kind of bending the buffer a little bit, and I'm brushing away down the way, like I'm brushing the product away. This way I'm not cutting the client. And on the middle, like, you can go faster any kind of direction, it is okay. Uh, but when you're working close to the cuticle, you have to be really, really careful. That looks quite nice and matte as well. Oh, sorry. And that happens when the finger is too much uh, going up, a uh, pretty danger thing. <laughs> so I'm also trying to keep the client's hands a little bit down. That's why even this is, isn't the best dust collector. And uh, that's why I love it because of the hand position. Um, it's really good for filing and it's really good for taking away the pressure from my hand uh, because all the client hand weight is on the dust collector rather than my hand so 
we have done actually 200% of the extension on the of the natural meal bed which is quite a lot um, but I'm hoping they are going to behave nice ideally you want to give your clients a hundred percent of the new bed um, that's kind of a healthy extension but to be honest everyone wears the nails much uh, much longer okay and the last one then we can just clean them and move on into the design part on the other nails which are empty uh, to do the French marble and the crystals application. Uh, after I have finished filing, uh, you guys know I'm doing the cuticles at two stages, I can trim the cuticles as well. So like I would, I would trim the little bit of the cuticle. And I don't like to overdo it uh, at the first stage because then when we filing like uh, we are also filing away the cuticles as well uh, so it might sometimes happen that uh, you don't need it remove anymore and then we can paint them okay marble time so i always clean my hands i can get rid of those tapes get them off uh, sometimes i keep them but you have to watch it because after we have filed they will have lots of fluffs so we are going to use our piece of foil and i will just quickly add a couple drops more of the marble And this time we are going to use the smaller brush. Again, wiggle a couple times and let's do a V-shaped marble. This time I have to work cleaner, like I cannot uh, work as um, thick and messy as I did with the previous ones just because we are going to apply only a top coat over it So I'm doing it kind of in a V-shape. This is just a black. Perfect inside. And same on this one. I really like it as a kind of like a cappuccino color brown. Perfect change. Now using the D-liner brush, because I have used it in black, I'm going to clean it in white. And then we are going to paint some lines.
and same on this new. So I'm starting quite thin, just so I know where my V shape is meeting, and then I can thicken it up. Same on this one. In case you do mistake, you can still take um, take it off because the marble is cure. And would I take it off if I don't like something? Yes, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep it, I wouldn't be embarrassed to take something off. This is the natural process of painting, like when you do something, you've got the right you don't like it and you can always take it off. <laughs> and I think if you've got that in your mind as well, that if something goes wrong, you can just, as long as you know how to fix it. Uh, don't be embarrassed of it like I mean I do it many times sometimes like I paint something and then I realize like you know what I don't like it let's change it and if you've got in your head that it has to be perfect like 100% like I wanted to get perfect like don't get me wrong like I wanted it as nice as possible uh, but I've got in my it, like if it doesn't work by the first time if I try something like I've, I can always try something else or or take it off and start again perfect change now we are going to bling it up as well so on the same piece of foil I'm going to put a drop of the base gel okay so the drop of the base gel and we are going to bling it up So I've got some crystals here and I will uh, secure first of all the, the big crystals. So actually I can go straight away from the, ba the base from the top. So that's a large one. That's a large one. Mm -hmm. Try to keep it nice and straight. Perfect. Inside. So on the next one I'm going to do it one first because the pinky runs to the side a little bit as you can see it this one runs to the side as well so I need to get my lady to hold the hand like this change <laughs> And we have only done one the next step is you don't want the crystals to be catchy we need to give them a nice transition okay so the nice transition is something to go around this crystal so first of all you are putting another amount of the base gel so if there is any gap you are filling this gap with those base gel that's the first thing which is making the crystals a nightmare to come off and you wish the client wouldn't come back for a rebalance <laughs> Um, I'm only kidding and then I've got some actually nice shape here in a rose gold and I thought it will just really go well I wanted to use this one I might actually use on this one oh gosh okay let it put it on the side I might actually change the original concept and bling them up even more oh what I'm like and then this goes in there so 
it's making the crystals to be not as catchy and I think it looks really beautiful as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so same on this one. And if you'll be doing a crystals application this way, like um, you guys seen my nails, like how many weeks they can last me with the crystals. Of course, sometimes you can lose one or something by accident, but in general, they do stay really well with this technique. and actually this is guys in between me and you my lady doesn't listen to that yeah you just close your ears because she do. <laughs> she does and obviously but yeah she can know that as well i think people like i i just talk whatever i think the truth wise but um yeah so in general my lady asked me when i place the first crystal on are they not going to fall off so always like uh, people ask this question and what did i answer to her i did answer I didn't say no they are not going to fall off because if if she would lose one crystal she could be angry at you that you have said they are not going to fall off and one did um so i have um i never say like something which is impossible to my clients um you know you don't want to give them like a false promises if that makes sense so if the people ask me like how long the nails last i wouldn't even t answer them for this question because it's so individual like on the one person they can last so then i tell them on average they are lasting like this and this many weeks but you could also break them opening the doors uh, just after having them done so they would last you two minutes um if you tell them kind of worse and then they last better they will be very happy but if you promise them too much and then it doesn't happen they will be disappointed so just something to keep in mind change so i have told my lady that she might lose the one if it happens she lose one she wouldn't be upset but if it's happened she don't lose any she will be very happy <laughs> no i hope you really don't lose any but i cannot promise that you shouldn't you I'm shouldn't okay. you shouldn't no they, they've got really nice um transition like so they shouldn't be catchy uh, but it's just a crystal so mm -hmm. and i have tested this technique like even on my quite stubborn clients like the ones which usually uh, tend to lose maybe one crystal there or there uh, so i was searching for a best way of applying the crystals and we have i think i have mastered it so we will see on this test on this set as well <laughs> Once it goes uh, up on the YouTube, you can search the video and you can you can leave the feedback how long the crystals lasted on you. <laughs> Actually, I believe the subscribers are probably uh, change. I'm quite interested as well. So another ones. And applying a large like obviously the larger the crystal the bigger risk of losing you've got um that's why we need to place those smaller ones around it and then it's i call it a crystal construction because <laughs> uh, they just protect it from coming off I really love this set actually you know I'm glad you say like I want brown nails because <laughs> I'm all the time pink's baby boomers change pink baby boomer pink purple <laughs> baby boomer and it just goes kind of um, all the time the similar stuff now I need to figure it out what I'm going to do with this nail because I feel like placing such a huge crystal in there is not the best idea So ideally, if I would have a smaller one, oh my goodness, I have, I'm so happy now. So I have a smaller rhombus and that's what I'm going to use it uh, just because it's a pinky and we really don't want to put such a heavy crystal on the pinky, but we still want to keep kind of thin in there. 
Now, I also know why I was clumsy with... Oh, yes, this is perfect. Can you see, guys? It's just fitting in perfect. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, I know why I was so clumsy with... No, not yet. I will just place one more straight away. See, the smaller the crystal, the easier it holds. Uh, the less the red... Oh, gosh! The less risk of moving. So I can straight away put this one in there. Uh -huh, chitch. Yeah, because I like them so much, guys, um, I'm going to bling it, them up even more. <laughs> and we're not too bad with the time either, so why not spoil this lady? No, this one is too small. Be fancy, be fancy. See, at this time of the day, I tend to talk to myself. <laughs> Gosh, I love doing those kind of nails. And it's so rare, like, uh, to do in those kind of style. Ah, yes. Yes. Isn't it? Like such a small thing, but I think it makes a big difference. And again, you've got a crystal which is sticking out, but around this crystal you've got a small rounded part, which is much flatter, so you shouldn't even feel those crystals. I know what I wanted to say. I was so um, clumsy with the crystal application because this was loose. So I have heated it up in the fingers. Actually, uh, guys, I, I really need to get um, um, get the order sorted and uh, organize the matching uh, crystal picker because I think it will be fantastic. Uh, I really need it. Like I've got some in the house, but I want it in a salon as well. Like and and uh, I think it's nice to have a matching sets. So, I don't like this one. <laughs> Change. They kind of remind me a little bit of Egypt. I don't know why. Like, kind of, you know, the sands, the... I don't know, like... It kind of does remind me those theme. Change. And now it's the time of the top coat. So high shine, no white. No, that's not high shine, no white top gel. And we are just going to secure those crystals even more. And at the end, I'm going to touch up one more nail with the file because I don't like it. I feel like it's a bit too long and it's a half a millimeter. I want to take it off. Okay, so on the gold parts, I apply the top coat to secure it. I don't apply the top coat on the crystals. Here, ideally, you want to apply the top coat in there and there, give it a shaky motion. So you definitely have got the crystals covered. And then again, over the gold, I apply the top coat. You could use a smaller brush as well if it's needed. Here I can see it, the light doesn't reflect nice. Top coat in. Touch it up with the top coat. That is getting better. And if you do something like this, change, quick it, uh, quick it. Gosh, my English, cure it quickly uh, so the top coat doesn't run. I'm just tired it now. I actually can't wait to take a picture of them. 
thank you so much that's I'm, I'm really happy you you wanted some browns and quite long and you didn't mind the blink because uh, I could create it some nice set I really like it it's different that's why I like it so much it's completely different to my style don't you think guys I mean it is still my style because it has the bling but it's so different to what I normally do and we have to just put a tiny wee crystals here on the side so only two two And then when we clean the hands and nails, everything looks nice and pretty. Look at that bling. Great change. Okay. So top coat. Oh, I need to show you guys which one. I'm, I'm talking about this finger. I need to touch it up with the file to shorten it half a millimeter. And it's okay to do so after the top coat. And I always also clean the crystals um, after the application as well because the wax gets stuck change to it. And then you've got not nice uh, places like a kind of covered with the wax. So shake the top coat well, go underneath of the crystal. And I'm giving a decent amount of the top coat. I know we need to cure it 60 seconds for a nice shine. So when I'm uh, using the high shine no wipe top gel, I cure it 60 seconds. And just so the nails have a really nice and shiny uh, finish and before we touch them we need to wait for the product to cool down as well okay okay that's the first hand ready let's have a look at them so that's the finger i was talking about i don't like it now i'm happy <laughs> even those two three millimeters is, is making a big difference Okay, I've got first catch, so I cannot let my lady to go like this because the crystals shouldn't catch. So going with the wipes is a really awesome way. It must be the way the crystals went to the top. So what you are going to do is give it a scratch in there and put a drop of the base gel. Because if you leave this crystal like this, then it is definitely going to come off. It did catch on the wipe. Uh-huh, and set. Let's check them. <laughs> yeah, all good. Must be a piece of metal which was a bit bended. So if it something like this happened, means when the client will be washing their hair or when the clients will be putting some tights on, that might be the place where they can catch and you really want to fix it. then cuticle oil and the thumbnail picture but yeah this set is really so nice and beautiful something completely different this should be ready as well so you can guys see it the final look and she cover it that's not catchy anymore <laughs> so cuticle oil Yeah, I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye and bye for now.